Welcome to Target Lock TV. My name is Simon and with me today I have actually two guests. We have Arvid from um, uh, Gothenburg and we also have Eik from Iceland. Welcome. And thank you. Uh, we have two uh, very interesting players today. We have uh, Jean Ulrup from uh, Denmark and we have Gisli uh, from um, Iceland. And this is a little bit of a uh, Tula Squadron Radio special. So um, we are going to try not to uh, mispronounce any names and... <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I think I need it. But we will try to do our best at least. So um, maybe we should start breaking down these lists. Um, Arvid, would you start breaking down John's list for us? All right. Uh, John is playing Resistance Beef. Uh, he has uh, three, three T-70s and two uh, pods. Uh, and not a lot of upgrades. Uh, he has uh, Jessica Pava, just with the yes foils and uh, the jamming beam. And uh, Lieutenant Bastion, also with the yes foils and uh, just the jamming beam. And then it's just a generic Initiative 3, a Red Squadron Expert, um, who, besides the yes foils and jamming beam, is also carrying uh, Heroic. Awesome. And then we have Finn. Uh, in the pod, 
and he has heroic and also automated targeting priority. And the uh, Rose Tico, naked, uh, totals 199 points. Excellent. Thank you, Arvid. And um, on Geisley's side, we have uh, something else. Right. A pretty much a standard Imperial AC squad. And you started off with Vader having fire control system afterburners at 75 points. Mm -hmm. And we have Soontir with Predator with uh, at 56 points. And as a third wheel, we have Duchess at 64 points, who has Predator, Fifth Brother, Gunner, and Afterburners. That sounds like a pretty solid third wheel. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. the, the players are, have already started here, and um, John is doing his formation. And uh, yeah, let's hope that Geisley's uh, Sumter is uh, making a hard turn here. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I mean, he wants to stay in that corner for as long as he want, uh, as he can. Kind of like uh, threatening to flank if they turn up, but uh, also ready to get out of dodge if, if Jan goes in hard. Yeah, he's turning. Yeah. Obviously, the resistance wants to joust, but uh, that's not an option for the Empire at all. Is it the difference in hit points? Yeah. These, uh, these Imperial fighters are, are hit quite hard and are quite maneuverable. And of course, the pilot skill at six and five uh, leverage Gisli is gonna have to utilize a lot. You mm -hmm. see that the three aces are right corner, center, and left corner, and that's where he's gonna kind of float until Gisli gets a notion of where he can flank him the best. Mm. So, is this a typical Gisli list? Yeah, uh, I know you probably played more than a few games with him. Ache? Yeah, yeah, we pretty much uh, we we're pretty much each other sparring partners, and uh, this is something Gisli would fly. He's uh, he's always been an imperial ace kind of player. Loves his whisper and loves his touches and uh, and uh, kind of like glass cannons that live on the edge. Mm -hmm. It will take a lot of skill to even manage piloting yeah. this properly, successfully. Yes. Especially with, with all of these resistance guns. Because Rose is a very accurate gun as well, even though she, do, she doesn't have a, a lot of life. With all the rerolls all the time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and to see that Jan has keeps his formation very close and that is of course a big plus if they catch one of the aces up but mm -hmm. if they turn out they're facing the wrong way one round that can be detrimental to his <laughs> overall health yeah he's turning up with the century it's quite brave barreling maybe yeah that is Kind of close, but I guess you can one hard away in either direction. Yeah. He needs to use his perfect information. I mean, dice will still be set. He can't change them after he sees wherever the yeah. resistance is going. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he's gonna have to kind of keep his options open when he sets his maneuver dial for Suntir because uh, he's gonna have to be able to take cover if he has to. Mm -hmm. If he sees mm -hmm. they go in hard, having that cloud over there as cover and being able to uh, 
So that's an evade token. He might actually live the shots from the swarm. Yeah, if John is aggressive enough now and figures out that Sundar is probably going to do a hard one, mm -hmm. uh, he could get shots onto Sundar. Also, John said that the game will be over in 20 minutes. I mean, <laughs> it's a joke, but... <laughs> uh, well, who knows? We'll see. Suspense is palpable for this round. Quite crucial. If oh, yeah. Swarm manages to engage this round. Yep. Jan can kind of cruise on. You know, one forward is always a good idea with this list, but... But mm. if Kisle does something and uh, soon tears out in the cold, uh, that's uh, that's a big hit to his list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got oh, movement. I wonder if Kisle went uh, right hard. Yeah, we'll see. Problem with trying to catch touches. He can turn with the ailerons, mm -hmm. right or left. So she's kind of reactive to what Jan does. Yeah. yeah, she's a solid ship for sure. Mm. Quicker than you could think. And you can also just not the ailerons if you want to be. Yeah, exactly. Such a good ability. Yeah, it gives you a lot of flexibility. We should ask the, the, the people watching as well, who do you root for? Is this uh, Geisley's game or is this John's game? As a barrel roll from Sunti Fell. Yeah. Coming in a bit closer. Yeah, this is good. The one hard will give Gisli a lot of options for next turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go either side of the rock. Yep. Later, maybe trying a lock. That's not range one. Just Ooh. outside. It could have been huge as well. I mean, that's pretty much getting a free look. Yep. Because there are no shots this round for sure then. Mm -hmm. um, so, this is... Yeah. By John's decision to uh, turn left instead of just going forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, from here, where does Jan go? I mean, Gisli can't just hard left with Vader. Mm. And, it, and if Jan goes, uh, banks right up in between the gas cloud and the rock in the middle, he's kind mm -hmm. of pointing nowhere if, if Vader just goes away. Yeah. Don't you think he might go f just put everything on Duchess? Yeah, that's what I, I think. Yeah. From the current position, I yeah. think... Uh, that's the best bet to get some points in. It's easier to have uh, an idea of approximately where that just will end up. Mm -hmm. For sure. And also, she's not very tanky, even though she has five hit points. So, right. Four. She only has two green knights. Yeah, next round will be defining for the game. Maybe just bank one left 
with the resistance ships. I mean, he, he will get flanked for sure, but... Yeah. Then again, he could... That, that is kind of the obvious move or the best move. So mm. he could kind of bank right with the green and yellow uh, X-Wings and mm -hmm. hard yeah. turn with red X-Wing and the two pots. Try to catch out Sunter. Mm -hmm. That's also uh, something you can do. Yeah, we'll have to see. But at least the Duchess has the flexibility. She doesn't have to risk getting blocked or something. Since you can always elect not to use the ailerons. I think this is a pretty good position for both players. Yeah. Big thing this round will be which direction Jan is going to turn and what Gisli actually does with Vader. Mm. That there are two crucial points. I wonder if um, you could just turn away with Duchess. Gisli. Oh, yeah. But if he does, and the resistance doesn't go for her, <laughs> it would be very bad for him. So it's kind of risky as well. Yeah, he, he could actually just sloop to the right, just stay in the corner, maybe get swat, yeah. uh, one or two shots. If Jan goes fast. I think he could even ailerons uh, right and then just turn. So that would just be pointing towards the corner, so. Yeah, that's kind of an awkward position to be in. Yeah. This is the big beauty of X-Wing, right? It's the mind games. <laughs> yep. It's a very difficult planning phase for both players, for sure. Let's see, we got movement. So he's going for um, Duchess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's going short. Yep. Don't want to miss her. Oh, yeah. So we got uh, Finn is going one straight, focusing. Okay, not committing. There we go. Red Squadron Expert is doing the bank. Let's not forget, Duchess has the afterburners. So if she kind of just banks mm -hmm. in with the ailerons, goes this, and has a bank left turned in for a hard, then he can kind of get out of some arcs. There we go, an aileron. Oof. Absolutely boost. Boost yeah, in, barrel out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she, she should be able to get out of the marks at least. Yeah. Afterburner is for the win. Absolutely. So he will for sure get out of uh, greens and uh, yellow arc. Yeah, if he decides on the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he'll get out of uh, uh, rolls, right? Yeah. As well, yeah. If he does that. Yeah, he has to. I mean, he gets out of green, gets out of yellow, gets out of pink as well. Mm, yeah. Do it. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Maybe even avoiding red, but no, I don't think so. Probably still in red far. Yeah. Probably. Uh, it would be nuts if he gets out of red as well. Yeah, no, I don't think so. That's a, that's a good maneuver. Yeah, excellent moves. So, Sunter is well turning. Good. And a barrel roll here. Yeah. Downward still has his bullseye on <laughs> pink. Mm -hmm. On rose, that is. Yeah. He gets all the rebolts as well, though. Uh-huh. Yep. And that's Vader. 
So this yeah. is uh, this is looking good for Gisli. So yep. far. <laughs> Better taking two shots from the little pots there. I guess Gisli is okay with that. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to trust who he dies. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. Who is the target priority in this list? In Gisli's oh. or uh, Jan's? In Jan's list. Mm. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's actually a difficult choice. Yeah. That's a good point. There's a lot of I tank think... ships there with uh, when they have all their friends. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think going for the shuttles, like either one of them, is probably good because they're kind of easier to kill. Uh, Kinda, but is the that T seventies are so tanky? Right. Maybe Bastion yeah. is a good uh, first target. He doesn't have that many uh, defensive abilities. Yeah, I think Bastion is the softest target in this list, even though he's a T seventy. Mm -hmm. Well, we, kind of... we got the first shot here uh, on Rose, and soon Tier is doing his Predator uh, reroll, and spends focus for two hits. So soon Tier shooting Rose, and Vader yeah. target locked Jessica. So he's kind of going by, you know, targets of opportunity. Yep. That's a reroll for Rose. Spence focus for three evades. Yeah. There we go. You got a naked Rose for Duchess. And yeah, he actually had the shot on Rose if he wanted to. But... So he'd be shooting Jess? Yeah. Yes. 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 Jan's yes. Mm -hmm. There we go. Spence lock. And then Spence focus. Oh yeah. Okay. Saving the force for defense. There. Yep. So that's uh, three. That's three shields on Jessica. Or will she do the reroll thing? Is that a defensive ability as well? That's a good point. She should. Let's see. No. All right. Mm. Didn't happen. Just taking the shields. That's very good for Gisli. Yep. Even though we had to spend the focus and the lock, should be worth it for sure. Let's range one shot into. Yes, this one. Ooh. It'll be unmodified except for maybe if it's brother is dead. Who needs mods? Ah, mm -hmm. that's fine. I think you used a reroll here. Spending. That's a blinded pilot. Uh, which also means he should definitely have used his ability, uh, just his ability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, can't, he can't use it anymore. No, he was obviously saving it to try to catch, uh, to try to kill Duchess. Mm -hmm. So this is yeah, a uh, range, range one, one shot. Yeah. It'll be unmodified though. Duchess only has his brother. Hit and a crit. Okay. Not bad. But she's ah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
then uh, Rose will have a shot at Vader. Mm -hmm. The Rose rolls. Uh, rolls re rolls. <laughs> Who oh. needs rerolls? But hey. evaded. Yeah. Yep. This is a shot from Finn. Mm -hmm. Taking the strain. Three baits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, last week we had um, uh, Gisli uh, challenging Jan in the chat to table him on the stream. So we'll see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's looking like that might, might come true. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this is huge. Mm -hmm. It's really good for Gisli. Obviously, I yep. think the, the Duchess maneuver with the afterburners and barrel was key. Oh, yeah. That was a good move. Yes. Very, very good. So, even though she can't fly, than a bank, uh, fly faster than a bank tree, if she has afterburners and barrel and uh, aerons, she'll still get quite far. Mm -hmm. Far enough. So let's see, what shall Jean do next? Uh, I guess if he wanna focus on shooting back, he could just K-turn with the X-Wings or T-70s and mm -hmm. try to find a way to block Vader with the shuttles. Uh, yeah. The shuttle has got a 3k turn, which might... I, I think Finn might be able to block Vader with a k turn and still have a shot on... on uh, either Zuntir, who's coming from the rear end, or uh, Vader... Um, sorry, um, Duchess, who might be coming around. But would you like to cater with that strain token? No, not really. Nope. Um, yeah. yeah. It would be very interesting to see what Gifli is doing as well. Yeah, I think he is just gonna... I think this position is so good for him. Looks like he can just chase unless all of Jan's list just turns. Maybe not all of it. He could still do like yeah, banks or turns with the, the shot. Thing is that if uh, the whole of Jan's list turns, he will only have unmodified shots. Mostly, yeah, mostly. Still has Jess and Rose. Yeah. Yeah, but Jess has got that blinded pilot. That's true. Yeah. And Rose, uh, I mean, if she is K turning, then she won't have any of uh, her friends in, in arc. That's true as well. And uh, Gisli has a very nice chance of actually pilot skill. Uh, initiative killing Jessica Power. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it looks well. Depends a lot on what Vader does as well. Yeah. I think a decent option for rolls is uh, a turn, two turn, and a barrel. Just to face Suntir. Suntir is probably 
not gonna go too quickly. And it would be beneficial to block him as well. I'd say Zunter is gonna go too straight. Yeah. My guess. Yeah, probably. And actually getting the block on Vader is pretty crucial because you blunt Vader's uh, attack when he doesn't have the target lock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They spent this lock last round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that just can just do like <laughs> whatever. <laughs> well, uh, one hard, maybe with the uh, aliens, yeah. depending on where the others stand. And I mean, the X Wings can obviously talent roll and stuff as well. I don't know whether um, this could fit a talent roll to the left. Maybe. I think she does. Probably fit. Oh, here we go. Finn is moving in. Clearing that strain, getting that focus. Trying to go for the block. And here we go. The K turns are in. Mm -hmm. Second K turn. Yes, does care about her blind. No, no, nope. she's she's all in. Oops. They're both turning in here. Mm -hmm. So this is good if Vader actually did a one four. Yeah. If he did the one or a two bank, we were in a three bank. Yeah. Yeah, if he went left. Which I doubt. <laughs> the yeah, suspense is right, killing me. Really bad. <laughs> At least uh, John will get to throw uh, quite a lot of life. The X Maybe not well modified now. You gotta do what you gotta do. Pray to the dive. That's the ailerons. Creating some distance from the. Yeah. And then next Creating some distance from the X Wings. Actually, these, these, uh, all these turnaround remover maneuvers mm -hmm. from the T-70s are actually a reward for Geesless flying in the first engagement round because oh. he got in so close, they could not catch any of the Imperials this turn by, uh, you know, otherwise than uh, turning around. So Geasley is thinking about a barrel roll here. Yeah. Does that make any difference? No, I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. Maybe just he's he might I'm be sure he's out of uh, Jessica's arc. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This uh, can't kill him. Focusing. Go for Jessica. No. Fast <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. Blue and right. So yeah. And I think planning this round for Vader was probably the hardest ship to <laughs> know what, what to what to do with. There we go. Yeah, the lock is <laughs> Going for a sure thing. Mm. Or the better bet, at least. It's still range one. Yeah. But obviously, you doesn't want to spend focus here. Yeah. 
soon too. Treatment. Yeah. So this is the killer shot for Jess. It's three to get Idiot. through, right? And use his Not good enough. target lock stamp. and then spans his focus here. I think he's risking taking uh Proper damage onto Vader. <laughs> so that's three hits going through. She uh, flips the yeah, flips yeah, her pilot ability me. and see. she lives. So she takes um, a hit and a crit. And let's see if that is a direct hit or not. Mm. No, she might still die though. Console fire. <laughs> oh, console fire, yeah. That's... Yeah. Um, directed friendlier, friendlier little brother. Ooh. So, yeah, this is, uh, yeah. Goes for the range <laughs> one in the bullseye, sure. Yeah. Why not? Good roll. And that's predator reroll. Oof. Mm -hmm. Ah, money. Painful. Yeah, so that's at least one crit going through. But she doesn't uh, need her reroll. No. Her ability is so good. Yeah. That's a console fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> John's is on fire. I guess that's what happens. The Disney Rebels, when they face the old school Imperial Aces. Yeah. Here we go. So, lost shot from Duchess here into uh, Rose. Mm -hmm. Range 2. And use fifth brother to mm. m make that a crit and double evade. Again, Bruce lives to see another day. Console fire. Yeah. Oh, takes another hit. Down to one hull. And hmm. now for Jessica. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Close. But but oh. she she gets to uh, no. fire though. No no no, nothing happens. No no no. It's only on hit result. Oh, yeah. And let's just do anything. Oh, they got it. Yep. Okay. Good. Yep. So that was lucky. Yep. So this is shot is for soon to range three double model. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> if you're gonna do it, that's that's how you should. <laughs> really wait. Fine. Yeah. These dice are on fire. <laughs> so this is a range one into Vader. Vader's got one force to defend himself with. Yeah, I need some luck. Yeah, and he get it. Yeah, there you go. Luck. Oh, uh -oh. Taking two. That's a couple of shields there. Yep. Well, I guess that's fair. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I still got another shot coming. Yeah, I think it's very risky just using the fire control system and spending the focus on offense from Vader. Saving grace for Geestly <laughs> is that uh, he didn't get any hull damage, or else yeah. Bastian would have gotten a target lock there. Right, so um, one damage. One it's still half points though. Mm -hmm. And now Bastian should get his lock. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, the point swing, Geasley is in the lead by one point, 39 <laughs> to 38. Yeah, Jessica hanging on by one hull is <laughs> crucial. Yeah. This means Geasley going to have to use one of his precious three shots to finish her off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is resistance beef. <laughs> Easily has done nine damage, and uh, John has done three damage, and still they're pretty much even <laughs> in the game. Yeah, yeah, and and John has uh, his um, named the this is the spring of beef. He's only flying beef until summer. So <laughs> Yes, he wants to get to know the archetype to see if he likes it and yeah. to see if, uh, and also to get to know the place of beef swarms better. So it's a good move. Yeah, it's always good to, uh, to sort of put yourself in someone else's shoes. If you haven't played a, a particular type of list, then uh, I mean, the best way is just. Uh, getting in there and playing it. Yes. Play the meta to be able to beat it. Yeah. So, let's see. I mean... Um... Precious and Centur are both stressed. And all T70s are stressed. Yeah, but the T70s are probably just gonna do one forward maybe Jess will go a little bit harder to maybe create a block for either Sunti or Duchess and just not get shot at from him yeah Silas is saying uh, wants to see K turn on Finn and uh, too hard left on Rose. Yeah, why not? He could cater as well if he wants to. She yeah. has a console fight. She wants to repair that. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, it's the same for Jeff. Both Jess and this could just straight up die from. Cockpit being on fire. True. So, um, while we wait here, Eagle, uh, uh, sorry, Aik, yep. <laughs> would you? <Excellent. laughs> you got uh, something going on in Iceland at the moment. I'm thinking um, about the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say that. The last week we've had like um, 11,000 uh, earthquakes registered in uh, around Reykjavik. Yeah. And just today, the scientists have noticed that uh, there is some lava creeping up on its way to the surface. So we might get a volcanic uh, eruption. Awesome. Mm. Yeah, uh, cool. It won't. It won't, won't be a big explosion or anything. It'll just be like a touristy kind of uh, <laughs> volcano 
happening. No big explosions, just just uh, nice photo ops, I think. I added a uh, webcam to the stream here so that we can see if if the volcano erupts during the stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's journal journalism for you. Nice. <laughs> and we'll see why uh, Gisli might be cutting out as well. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully we'll see some Mustafar style lava. <laughs> That's all right. We, Even we'll if just there's run no hike. <laughs> Yeah, you could still do some cosplaying. Yeah. You were the chosen one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you were supposed to bring balance to the force. Yes, me and Kisle will drive out there and reenact this <laughs> famous. So we saw uh, Silas' prediction here. Uh, K turn with uh, Finn and a uh, hard turn by Rose preparing her console fire. So, does Vader hit the three talent roll left? Yeah, that's Would a good that point. Even fit? Oh. It looks tight. Like uh, the talent roll might be blocked by. Um, yes. <sighs> yeah. I think it looks good to me. I I probably I probably would have tried that. Then again, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be the end of the world, I guess, if you take one shot from Rose this turn. Sure. Uh, sure. You still uh, got one force uh, to modify your defense roll, mm -hmm. and uh, you would get a shot on Jess, I guess, even if you're bumped. Tear is kind of caught out. Yeah. Because Rose is blocking. Oh, there we go. Blocked as well. And that was turn, turn two. Yeah. Ooh. Soon Tear has nowhere to go. Then again, Jessica Power won't be there to shoot him, I think. No. Uh, but if he, not, huh? if he takes a. Um... The red barrel and place himself behind Rose. He gets yeah. um, he gets the focus. He might take her out before she can shoot at Vader. And uh, he didn't want the stress. No. No he sweat. Should die. <laughs> it should only be a shot from um, Vader. And obviously from Bastion onto uh, Sun Tzu. Yeah. Yeah. Focus of aid. He'll be fine. Here we go. He's got the Probably. target lock if he wants to use it. Yeah. It's the right decision. Save it. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. That's enough. Enough to kill. Yes. She's very dead. Even with the reroll. Yep. There we go. It's another crit. She didn't save herself by putting out the fire. <laughs> That's Perfect. a direct hit. Yep. Then we'll have Sundir going straight into Bastion. This is a good shot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Predator. Oof. Getting exactly what he wants. <laughs> Keeping his focus. Oh. That's pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta spend that focus unless you don't want the crit. No. Spend it. Mm -hmm. Will he choose violence? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I 
But I mean, obviously, that's the quick. They're losing all of the sheep from Bastion. Yeah. So who do you go for? Sure. Do you go for Bastion here, or do you go for Rose? Uh, I'd say you go for Bastion. Bastion is range two. Yeah. Go for Bastion. You only got two, two defense dice. Still, you have more hit points. One hit is not kill roll. Yeah. Yeah. That's Just not excellent. It's a lot not looking very good for Jan at the moment. No. Not at all. Later's behind, and he's the only one that has some damage on him. Oh. Spend focus. No. Yeah, she took the. Okay. Repaired her damage card, so that's two hits, mm. and that's two evades. <laughs> Hit crit. And evades. Yeah. <laughs> well, Gisli's green dice is uh, holding up. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I guess it's a reward for him flying well. <laughs> so, this is the double modded soon tier is taking fin shots. Two hits. It will go. be three hits if it takes a strain. Yeah. Since he had the, the calculator oh, and yeah. automated targeting priority and visibility. But no damage. No. It's very focus stacking. Oh, token stack. But we will see a shot range one here from Bastion. Yeah. This is a bit scary actually. It's more yeah. nice. Yep. So, if Jan gets lucky, he could actually just kill him. Mm -hmm. But oh, is Jan lucky? Here we go. Ah, hit crit. Lucky enough to kill him. Maybe. Well, uh, yeah, he could still die actually. No. no. Anyone. <laughs> All right. So Jan's probably pulling out his hair. A bunch. <laughs> yeah, we got about 25 minutes left, and um, Gisli's in the lead by 64 points against Jan's 38. So uh, Gisli wanted to table Jan. Mm -hmm. So by the scores now, uh, Jan is actually just winning because Gisli can't table him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Mission <true>. accomplished. <laughs> Depends on how you define winning. <laughs> well, you take what you get, right? Yeah. Yeah. Optimism always wins. Now, this has been a really interesting game so far. I still think uh, well, the best thing we've seen so far all game is just uh, Duchess's uh, excellent maneuver, first turn of engagement. Yeah, it um, was really good. It really put him into an excellent position for uh, oh, the following round as well. Yeah. Uh, Jan really didn't do anything wrong, per se, but. No. He didn't like uh, cover the wild cards. He should be. I mean, he 
He banked all of them in unison, where he should have been thinking, what if he goes here? I will go one forward, one more, one harder with this guy and, and catch him out if he tries to go past me with touches and get the block, and get the shots off with the other two. Um, yeah. If you, if you don't uh, try to make some extra steps with a beef list like this, you will pretty much get slaughtered by a A-list player because uh, swarms are predictable. And if you don't do any extra maneuvering, you're not going to catch aces at, at the higher initiative. Mm. Yeah, he just went straight to the pod during that round. He banked with the X right and he went straight on towards vader more like yeah the pods. yeah so it didn't really have any good shots onto duchess yeah and of course um good play is rewarded by good dice absolutely mm hmm I guess I think um, on paper, John has a better list. It's also down, down to preference, of course. You need a list that fits your playstyle. Mm. Maybe if, if he, he has a promise, he's going to just play <laughs> beef <laughs> all spring. Um, <laughs> he hasn't had enough games yet compared to maybe, I don't know, <laughs> how long Gifty has been, has been playing this. Or... Oh, very typically. I would be playing something that Jan's playing, and Gisli would uh -huh. be very typically playing <laughs> aces. <laughs> so, A, Gisli has a lot of practice with aces, and yeah. Gisli has a lot of practice with aces <laughs> against me. <Beef. laughs> yeah, you can tell as well. Yeah. He's doing really well. So, yeah. I maybe, I maybe should have told Jan that. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you betray can. your countrymen. <laughs> ah. and, and and it's nice to see Danes suffer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get K turns here from um, uh, Bastion and Red Quadrant expert. Um, we had Rose turn around as well, and um, Finn just banked up, cleared his strain. The stress, gotta focus. And Duchess is just, mm. just not having it. No way, no. <laughs> She's fine. Yeah. Got <laughs> a nice shot into Bastion there. Mm -hmm. See about the real relaces, Vader and Suntir. We've got a nice barrel in coming over there, I think. Yeah. Or does she need it? She's not getting out of. Uh, he's not getting out of any arcs. No. With he a might barrel. Be in some range. That's might true. be range three shot from um, Bastion <laughs> if he barrel. Yeah, yeah. Still expanding your force, so it's actually quite a difficulty. And that even was a uh, two. Uh, two speed maneuver, so you can't use the uh, auto auto burners, auto thrusters, afterburners. afterburners. It seems like he's just focused and low. Ah, there you go. That's that's more like it. Kill him before he shoots. Only four hull left on Bastion, and he's got. Uh, two shots at least. Yeah, two shots yeah. on him. And obviously K turn, so he has no modifiers. Yeah, no mods. Yep. And uh, there you go. Soon tier is just aiming for rose. Yep. No um, bullseye is round, but be fine anyway. These little parts are efficient and fun, kind of. I have a list with uh, Chewie mm -hmm. in the Falcon 
and four pods. Four pods. Yeah, I've seen that list I think as well. Yeah. So oh, if they go pop, Chewie gets an action on the <laughs> shot. Yeah. It's more meme than good, but and the all of these pots are efficient. They're not really Oh <sighs> nothing. Blocks. So it's right, <laughs> but no focus. <laughs> I think uh, especially Rose is very efficient. Yeah. You can fly with four um blue T seventy. What are they called? Blue squadron? Oh yeah. I mean, if ah, you can squeeze her into a list, she's always good. Hit it, crit. Yep. Oh. And there you go. Mm -hmm. Does he not have heroic on him? No, guess not. He's dead, straight up. Is that a direct hit? Direct hit, yeah. Ouch. Boom. Uh, yeah. Unfortunate for Duchess, she's out of. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> A wasted shot. <laughs> well, Rose got a shot. An Imperial noble. Yeah. She has the right to finish off her <laughs> enemy. <laughs> Glory of killing. Sure. If if the coup de grace would have been from anyone else, but uh, Darth Vader, she would be pissed. There we go. Hit crit. Mm -hmm. Evaded. Geese is green dice. Yeah, yeah. They've been just good enough. Yeah, good well, enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've been just good enough. Like constantly rolling. Yeah. Two aids for. To it. Uh huh. <laughs> See, uh, it looks like John might be a little bit frustrated. Little uh, bit. Here we go. So that's uh, three. Good roll. Three hits. That might do stuff. Ooh. Two of eight. Two of eight. That's one. That's one from death. Yeah. Mm. No, he's going by the looking at him. Ah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So Vader is at least down to one hit point, but I mean, John needs to kill ships. Yes. I mean, if he would have got not Vader this turn, there's always a chance that Suntir just pops. Mm. So we would have gotten a slim chance of a game, but you know, um, with Vader still alive, I don't think there's any chance. But I guess he get one more try. Long range it's, from... It's a small probability, but it can still happen. Yeah. Cause... Yes. Yeah, even Duchess only has four hull. It's gonna be okay, two. So that's three. No, just two, right? Oh, when he... No, he focused. Yeah, focus. Yeah. I thought he just had the uh, calculate. <gasps> there you go. That's a dead Vader. Indeed. Okay. Interesting. Dead, dead, dead. Loop. So. Mm hmm. 75, po 75 points against a 111. Yeah. So now it just have to, has to pop off soon to you. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, get a block. Well, you know, anything could happen. Yeah. <laughs> and Jan uh, writes out in all caps in chat, he's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Jan or Vader? 
<laughs> Absolutely. They both are, right? Ben is the big deal here. <laughs> So this is getting interesting. So uh, Sunter is stressed. Duchess yeah. is not stressed. No. Red School and Expert and Rose, Rose are also stressed. Um. I'd say we see a sloop from Duchess this round. And um, I think Finn might. Finn I'm not sure. Yeah. Because he has the options of aileroning uh, right, left, or straight. So I think he'll just do a one hard turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the T70 has to do a bank maneuver. And so does Finn, if he wants to clear this train. Yeah. So that's two ships that really can't catch him. That's true. And I guess Suntir should really go three straight. Yeah, he should just or four. run away. Yeah. Just go a long way around the gas cloud. Get back, get back in when, when you can do it on your own terms, basically. Yeah. Because right now you have two Two uh, enemies in your backside, and you're stressed. And you're very predictable when you're zoomed here. That too hard is, you know, very mm -hmm. blockable. What's the... Um, oh. Okay. Keeping the strain. Yeah. All right. That's... It, it's just so hard to catch Duchess there since since the adaptive ailerons. Yes. Wouldn't you kind of target lock? Maybe not. Here we go, a barrel. It's just... And you got the um, force mod anyway. Oh, just gonna take the one shot from uh, Rose. Unless Duchess shoots Rose first. I wonder if Sundry has a shot there. No, probably not. No, it doesn't. So, he'll just sit there, not stress himself, and keep the focus. Or evade. No, he took an evade. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. I think it just disappeared from the call for some reason. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. Thank you. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, know. we noticed it straight away that you were gone and started missing you. <laughs> <laughs>
probably just assumed <laughs> I had nothing to say. <laughs> no, no, no we, we just we just didn't mention it because we didn't want to alarm anybody no. uh, viewing. You know. So this is. But, It was first out of the box to die, and then it was a reroll for Predator. There. So two hits on uh, Rose. Oh, she's fine. The little pod that evaded. Yeah. I thought it looked really dangerous doing the two hard with Sunto here. It actually K turns in instead of just banking in. Gives me some lucky uh, Sunto will still, 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 still take some damage from um, Red Squadron next to the This is from Rose into uh, Duchess. Too bad. See, no, no, no Rose doesn't have a fin in, in our coin. No. And double evades. <laughs> A very consistent two of eights from Geesley. <laughs> yeah. Get a shot into soon tier. Okay. Give us some uh, paint here. Yeah, I want to see three natural crits. And three yeah. blank, blank on the red. Oh, on the greens. Oh, well. Two evades. And two. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need, even need to spend the evade. So we got about eight and a half minutes left. So I guess this will be the last round. So what sort of winning conditions do we have here? Um, let's see. Gisli is leading by 36 points. If he needs, John needs to take out either soon tier or duchess to yeah. make it past that mm, or have both of them yeah that's true which is absolutely doable because there's always that chance of soon to just blanks out yeah yeah <laughs> Let's see how defensively he flies this round. I was curious about that last round. Will Gisli just run? But no. Ah, he'll give us a show, I think. Mm. Probably with Duchess, we will get a left sloop. Mm -hmm. And soon tier. Oh. Style is open, he's not stressed. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of like a sitting duck if he calls that three sloop left on some tier. If Jan calls that, he's in trouble. Yeah. So that uh, might just be the best bet to go three hard right. Depends. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm guessing Rose will K turn. Rose is. Uh, yeah, Rose is not stressed. No. Okay. Just Finn. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. And obviously, mm -hmm. this will probably be the last round, so I mean, anything can really happen in terms of maneuvers. Especially when you're behind, you may need to risk it for the biscuit. Yes. Just do, just do white maneuver on Finn. Or... Nope, definitely not. Just trying to, uh, I don't know, cut the. Focus, okay, get point over there. It's nice flying uh, Rebel Beef like. <laughs> it should be fun. Yeah. Straight one to victory. <laughs> yes, and preferably uh, bump into all of your friends on the way. 
Mm -hmm. There you go. Left loop. Perfectly safe. Yeah, and has excellent shots as well. Ooh, yeah. So. So sure. this is happening. A naked. Yeah. Zoom tier. Range yes. one from Red Squadron Expert. Mm -hmm. Sundir does not get the focus. Mm -hmm. No. Nice. He does get a range one shot on the pin though. Yes. Yeah. Very unlikely to kill him. Naked dice. Two. Two Good. hits. And not half points. Okay. Not half points, yeah, true. Oh, he's gonna add the uh, focus and use the calculate. Oh, the focus. Yeah. So no damage. Mm -hmm. So this shot should go into Rose. Yeah, for sure. Unless he's greedy. He's shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Greed is good, right? Uh, yeah, that's predator. Oh. Yeah, he wants yeah. to uh, draw that focus token from uh, Red Squadron Expert. Right. But he's not going to spend it. <laughs> no, probably now. Not. Oh my god, there's no reason to spend the focus whatsoever. No matter how bad they oh. are. <laughs> <laughs> heroic! So that's, yeah, that's heroic, heroic yeah. <laughs> Finally! Into two. No! <laughs> Come on, Yan, get better at this. So, <laughs> he, if he, he, better. Needs, he needs to spend it. Uh, unless... No. One, two, well, three, four gets, uh, gives up points. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah, four hits. Oh, I thought you blanked out. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, fifth brother. Yeah. There you so... go. I think that was correct, yeah. and just pray for a good result on Suntir. Yeah. I mean, that's actually a win condition by now. Would be hilarious Pray. to just kill some dude. It shouldn't be enough oh. still though. Yeah, that would be so good. Four dice. Come on. <gasps> Hit crit. Um why the focus conversion? I don't know. Me neither. Do you, do you mm. still think he had the focus token? He does not have automated target priority. Do you want me to pop over there and ask him? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. But so, something didn't die anyways, but... No. It's half points or not on, on something. That result. But there will be enough time for another round. Yep. Yeah, it looks like it. For sure. Stay focus. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. I took away his points. <laughs> but they still have enough time to play another round, so... Yeah. Yeah, anything can still happen. Yep. Jan just needs to keep his points. Uh, Take Geeslies. <laughs> yeah. Do two damage to Suntir. <laughs> I mean, sure. Block yeah, Suntir again. Console fire procs. And then squeak <laughs> in one pin. That's absolutely doable. Yeah. And there's really not a, a lot of hit points. On an Imperial Aces list. Vader has three hull, two shields. 
It has three hull. It has four hull. That's 12 hull. <laughs> 12 hit points in total. 12 hit points total. That's uh, like uh, less than two T seventy fives. That's two seventies. Yeah, because yeah, they're fourteen in total. There we go. That's the table time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they put down dial, so they're for sure going to play out the last round. There you go. Since kind of K predictable. Again? <laughs> yeah. And there you go again. Wasn't the... No. No, he was only um, strained, yeah. Yeah. All of them did straight ones last round. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> That's his one. None of that. Get out! Get out again! Yeah. Second off the banners. Oh! This is absolutely happening. Yeah. <laughs> looks very dangerous. Ouch! <laughs> I love that. Yeah. The Ace of Legend. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's riding out in the sunset. Huh. Yeah, let's see what the dice say. So, no pull sign, so no focus. And he should be rolling for his console fire. <laughs> uh huh, yeah. Yeah, there you go, they just caught it. No, they didn't. It's fine. Huh. Just roll three of eights. Yeah. Just roll three of eights. There was... Uh, was that Suntur who's got the console fire? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can pop over again. No, I just... Uh... Pinging it. Yeah. And then there's gonna be... Uh, something. Console fire! Oh! Console fire! I told you it was happening! He's <laughs> down to one hit point. And Finna's uh, three reds and a free focus result. With the uh, calculate from automated targeting priority. Told you. <laughs> Mathemati um, oh. Mathematically. Oh! Oh my god! He knocked off the. the crit result. <laughs> So it's two. Yeah. He needs yep. one result and he's dead. <gasps> oh he's my gone! God. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> Geasley. <laughs> that's game, right? How, yeah, that's game, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Geasley, how do you lose this on the last <laughs> shot of the round? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> this yeah. is some Epic. serious. Uh, Andreas called some business. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, uh, John. <laughs> Indeed. Let's uh, awesome. let's pop over in their chat room and uh, see what they say. <laughs> probably let's. still laughing. I wouldn't have bumped, and I would have. Hey guys. Weird out. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's that, the resistance. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> yeah. I super thought that soon tier would clear that three bank there. Yeah. Is this me? Oh. Ran out of luck at the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit happens. Congratulations, John, and and thank you. Thank you. Gizli. It was not deserved at all. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was K turning all over the all over the place like I was, you know, I haven't played this game more than once before, so. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you do with jousters, right? Yeah. You just gotta wait sure. for the right moment. Yeah. Oh. Also, Finn, pretty big deal. Yeah. Well, very big deal. I think Rose was the biggest deal in the game. She was tankier she, than hell. Yeah, but she's the kind of deal that just refuses to die. On one hole, yeah. yeah. I mean, Finn killed Vader and Finn killed Suntir, so. I'm not actually sure whether it was Finn that killed Vader, but I remember it like that now. <laughs> we'll have to go, go back and look at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was an unfortunate round for Vader there. I, it was a calculated risk, but... Yeah. I would say in a, in, a, in a real tournament setting, with sort of in a less honorable setting, you would probably have run. Right? Oh yeah, all day. Every day. All day. <laughs> <laughs> because we, we were talking about the points and uh, and that's also why I had that focus expenditure on the red squadron at the end because I knew that if I do if I lost half points on that one, yeah, that was game. Yeah, then game. then I would need both to then would need to either kill Duchess or uh, kill Suntir and get half on Duchess. So mm -hmm. it just had to be done. Um, even if Rose, and that was assuming Rose died, of course. Yeah. You know what, Jan? Uh, I wasn't even looking at the time before you told me it was the last round. <laughs> then I changed my maneuvers. I was going to go all in, and that would probably have been a better maneuver for me because I might have had a shot. <laughs> because or, I was going to. Or, was... <laughs> or even March, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or but Mark, I mean, yeah. two turns in a row, Suntia got bumped in a way where he didn't get bullseye. Yeah. I I mean, and it was both of these, but these super corner bumps like this one. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's the insane. First, it's the, almost the, clearing. The first bump there, I I knew I would I would get bumped. I mean, I did, just did that one heart. Okay, I'm going to get bumped. Whatever, I'm going to get my focus. But that didn't happen. And this, I was... I was 99% sure that this was this would clear. It will, if I was playing on a table, I would have been. <laughs> I would have seen it. <laughs> but, but this is TTS. Well, well it, on a table, you would have had some wiggle room. True. I would have my Atlantis yeah. templates. Yeah. <laughs> With real <laughs> templates, this would have cleared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if not, then you just pick another template. Yeah, exactly. Oh, can I borrow your two bank there? <laughs> <laughs> Seems a little short. Oh, that's yeah. fine. Well, thank yeah. you very much for playing both Jan and Gisli. Thank uh, you. Thank it's you been an honor us. having you on. You. Very well played. Yeah, thank you, Eik and, uh, and Arvid, for helping me commentating uh, today. And, thank you for having me. Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's such a pleasure. Um, we are going to shut down the stream and we would like to thank everyone who's been watching and commentating in the chat as well. Please, uh, if you uh, have any suggestions, what place would you like to see uh, on the stream next week or a like, then uh, type it in the chat or uh, make a comment of the video and we'll try to, uh, to make it all come true. So uh, with these uh, words, I would just like to say thank you once again, and um, I will do the outro now. So uh, bye. 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 Bye.